The difference between male and female hormones when it comes to working out and making progress is absolutely crazy. Us blokes have it pretty easy. Our hormones stay pretty much exactly the same, unless you drink absolute shite and drink a whole bunch of beer. But when it comes to female hormones, it's a completely different story. And let me break it down for you. So days one to five is menstruation. Some may call it the bleed. And ironically, the phase where most men think the entire menstrual cycle is. During this time, estrogen and progesterone are pretty much at their lowest. Now this is a tricky one because some women absolutely smash their training during this phase, whereas some feel like absolute death. There's no real normal here. Day six to 14, which are all combined within your follicular phase, estrogen starts to rise, giving you more strength and energy. And this is a good time to incorporate some higher intensity and higher volume training. Now, around about here, around about day 14 is when ovulation happens. From some women, it can be from days 15 to 17. For others, it can be from days 13 to 16. This is where a surge of testosterone happens, that little blue line. And for most women, they feel on top of the world. And randy as fuck. Tip for the fellas. And for the lezers, you already know this. This is a great time to push the those PBs and lift some heavy ass shiz. Another point to note during this phase, your flexibility will increase with the higher levels of estrogen. But a point to note, joint stability will actually decrease. So you may be more at risk of certain lifting style injuries. So just be careful. Moving on to days 18 through to 28, which makes up part of your luteal phase, progesterone is at its highest and it can leave your body feeling quite tired, quicker to exhaust and likely to overheat, which can cause a hit to sleep quality. But good news, your metabolism will spike during this phase. So you'll feel the want for and can get away with a few extra calories. But before you get carried away, bear in mind it's only equates to around about one to 300 extra calories a day. So don't go too mad, piggy. Now, this is all a very generalized approach. As we all know, women are very unique and experience their menstrual cycle in different ways. The key takeaway from this is that progress is built on consistency. But as women, it is important to recognize that your cycle can influence how your body feels and performs. There will be times when pulling back and pushing forward is the smartest move for your body. It's not about making excuses. It's about working with your biology to get the best overall outcome possible. If you like this one, make sure you follow me for more. And as always, you are more than welcome.